Stellar, the blockchain that's bridging the gap between the digital and physical worlds. Stellar isn't just another blockchain, it's designed to have a real-world impact. Whether it's making cross-border payments, as simple as sending an email, or creating digital assets that represent real-world value. Now, let's talk about one of Stellar's most powerful features, smart contracts. In simple terms, a smart contract is a self-executing digital agreement that runs on the blockchain. Imagine setting up a vending machine where, once you insert a token, it automatically delivers the product, no need for a middleman. That's exactly what smart contracts do. They automate processes, enforce rules, and ensure everything runs smoothly and securely. Smart contracts on Stellar are particularly powerful because they can be built using Rust, a programming language known for its safety and speed. Rust ensures that your contracts are reliable and error-free, which is crucial when, for example, dealing with financial transactions and digital assets. And there you have it, 100 seconds of Stellar smart contracts. If you're feeling good, ready to dive deeper, and maybe even break a sweat, stick around. But if you're a true dev, let's get our hands dirty with some real implementation. All right, let's dive into the technical stuff. We're going to build a simple Stellar smart contract using Rust. First, we start with the cargo.toml file. Think of it as the shopping list for your project. Forget the milk and eggs. We're picking up Soroban SDK because we're cooking up some blockchain magic today. Next, let's create the contract itself in lib.rs. This is where we turn our ingredients into a tasty blockchain dish. We start by defining our contract struct. It's like creating the hero for your favorite Marvel movie, except, you know, without the spandex. Now, we need to give our hero some superpowers. Instead of just saying hello Stellar, let's add a function that saves a value and another one that lets us retrieve it. Think of it like storing a secret in a digital vault. No more sticky notes with passwords on your monitor. And with that, our contract can now save and retrieve values. Whether it's your favorite programming language, your pet's name, or a secret code, our contract has got it covered. Just don't store your pizza preferences here. It's blockchain, not a fridge. Before we send our superhero into the wild, we need to make sure it's not going to trip over its own cape. Testing in Rust is like giving your contract a rigorous training montage. Think Rocky, but with less running and more assert statements. See that? We just made sure our contract can save and retrieve data without dropping the ball. Testing might not be glamorous, but it's way better than finding out your contract can't remember your favorite language. Unless your favorite language isn't Rust, in that case, I might have to pretend I didn't hear that. And don't forget, real men and women test in production. Just a joke, don't do it. I can speak from experience. Now comes the exciting part. Deployment, we're going to launch our smart contract on the Stellar testnet. In your terminal, you'll use the Soroban CLI tool to build and deploy the contract. It's kind of like hitting the go live button on your website, except this time, there's no turning back. First, we build the contract to ensure it's compiled correctly. No one wants to deploy a broken contract, especially not when everyone's watching. Then, we deploy it to the Stellar testnet, where it will live and execute whenever called upon. It's like sending your code off to college, proud and a little bit scared at the same time. But what good is a deployed contract if you can't interact with it? Let's send a request to our contract. First, we'll save a value, and then we'll retrieve it. It's like asking your contract, hey, what's my favorite language? And it better say Rust, or we're going to have some words. And there it is. Our contract saved the value and retrieved it without breaking a sweat. You're officially a blockchain wizard, and your contract is now a proud member of the Stellar testnet. That's it folks, in just a few minutes we've gone from zero to deploying a smart contract on the Stellar testnet. Now it's your turn to build something amazing, whether it's a contract that automates payments, tracks assets, or even orders pizza. Because let's be honest, if the blockchain can't get you pizza, what's the point?